Hello everyone, welcome to another Advent video. Well, today's video is going to be a bit of a, a show and tell. I'm going to show you the vacuum and do a bit of a demo of it. Now the vacuum I've got just here has never been featured fully on my channel. I've not done an unboxing video. That's because it came on that big pallet of vacuums I bought a while ago and it came in a brown plain box and I think it just said Morphe Richards rusty pipe on the box and it was in a, a quite a dirty state and yes the the wands or the pipes the uh, tubes that came with it are a little bit rusty well they were I've managed to clean it up a little bit so here it is quite a basic vacuum and not a very Christmassy color being yellow it's more of a spring sort of summer color this but nonetheless I need to show you it because currently this is for sale and uh, it's possibly being used by its new owner as we speak. So I'm just going to uh, take you on a bit of a tour of this little vacuum cleaner and then I'm going to put down some dirt and possibly pick it up for your enjoyment and amusement, hopefully. Okay then, let's have a closer look at this vacuum and then we'll put some dirt down for it to gobble up, shall we? So here it is, the Morphe Richards Handy and if you haven't noticed, it's got a 1300 watt maximum powered motor no bells and whistles on this cleaner there is tool storage and there's automatic cord rewind and a bag check indicator but that's that's about it on this cleaner so underneath this uh, translucent flap that doesn't doesn't stay open are two small accessories so you get a crevice tool that's just not bad medium sort of length crevice tool there and an upholstery nozzle for your upholstery and stairs got some litter pickers either side so just two tools no dusting brush supplied with this one and underneath we have of course the bag compartment with the bag it takes the same bags as the Morphe Richards Vinto cleaner and it has this little carry handle so you can take the bag out it will seal it's got an original bag in I think I've got some spare bags that I'll use for the demo anyway one spare bag but I believe it closes yes watch oh well it's supposed to <laughs> there we go now it's sealed up all the dirt there's no dirt in there at the moment and then of course you just slide on a new bag onto this little holder so this is the pre-motor filter oops and it's of that I can't pronounce that um, brand is it vile Don or I don't I don't know how you pronounce it it's the same brand um, of filter that was in the turbo power 2 the first turbo power 2 I ever got which I believe was the bottom of the range um, blue color had this brand of filter so that goes in there before the motor and it's also, I think it's more or less the same sort of material. That's your exhaust filter. Here's the exhaust vent at the back. And it, is, it has been used a bit, I think, this. It wasn't classed as brand new. You can see there's a little bit of carbon dust on there, isn't there? So that fits on there. Um, oh, there's a date wheel. Let's have a look at the date wheel, if I can see it. It's very hard, because it's printed on black. 98. So, at least this part of the vacuum was made in 1998. But of course the cleaner could date from a bit later, the complete cleaner, whenever it came off the production line. We'll have a look, I'm not sure where it's made. I don't think it's, it's not made in China. I think this is classed as made in the EU or EC. So that goes in there. And there's also pretty standard, isn't, isn't it? There's this thing here. So that just stops you from using it without a bag. The bag door won't close now. Of course, you can use it without a bag if you were naughty, just by sliding the bag off the holder and just putting the holder back. I think that would, yes, the holder on its own will move that little red catch along. 
enough for you to unless you need a bag in as well it's possible you will need the bag actually yes i think you do need to have the bag in i won't take it out now but anyway it's got a bag so there's that and on the back just got the exhaust vent six stage filter it says little red neon indicator for the bag and it might light up when it's blocked as well automatic cord rewind on off switch let's pull out the cord possibly could do a little bit of lubrication this really but it's a it's a good quality cord on this it's a reasonable thickness and on the back we'll have a look at the old uh, rating sticker but we've got a wheel a caster wheel at the front two fixed wheels at the back and then we've got this parking two position for some reason to park your nozzles and speaking of nozzles this is the main carpet and hard floor nozzle that came with it and it does say made in germany on it so i think it goes this way around actually and there's a little doobry that comes out sort of spring loaded look and that holds the wand when you park it and i think it goes on the it goes on the lower part so as you can see when you park it that little clip helps secure the wand and then when you take the wand off it'll just automatically go back flush with the bottom of the cleaner okay we'll have a quick look at the label so it's a morphe richards model number 70011 and the serial number is 818 slash 010803 230 240 volts 50 hertz pn 1100 watts p max 1300 watts ah yes made in the ec and then there's a phone number there but i don't think we'll try ring it okay let's switch her on i think she's fairly noisy i'll just connect the hose it's a 360 degree swivel top hose on this model so there we go and of course apart from the hose rotating 360 degrees on the cleaner itself the hose rotates at the cleaner end and also it rotates at the handle end so here's the handle very normal looking little bit of a suction relief valve there and we've got two friction fit probably chrome ones the top one here is in pretty good condition the bottom one has suffered a little bit of pitting where it's uh, rusted and there's a uh, quite a, a large area there where the rust has really eaten into it i think inside they're fairly rusty as well and um, a closer look at uh, it's a reasonable quality carpet and floor nozzle as you'd expect from a made in germany nozzle and there is some again a bit of rusting on the base i've cleaned it up better than it was a bit of a brillo pad helps with the rust light rust and then i've polished it with metal polish but it's a pretty decent nozzle for what would have been a fairly budget priced vacuum cleaner Well, this nozzle is quite hard to push, to be honest. Almost as hard as some of the low energy nozzles. We're all used to now having nozzles that are very difficult to push across the carpet, so they get the EU dust pickup rating. But of course, this predates the EU regulations by quite some years. So 
no rating for this there's no decibel rating there's no filtration rating there's no dust pickup from carpet or dust pickup from a hard floor rating with this people just bought it and cleaned their homes with it and i'm sure they were more than happy with it Well, just before the demo, I thought I'd show you this because I'm rather proud of myself because finally I've organized a lot of my demo dirt into a box. It used to be all over the place, mainly in the cloakroom um, downstairs, but it wasn't sort of organized and it got a bit messy and some of the stuff spilt out. So I got this box and put everything together. This is not everything I use in demos because of course I recycle a lot of dirt and it's normally dirt comes out of a Henry bag because I use a Henry to pick up after the other cleaners have demoed. If I've used a bagless cleaner then I tend to use a Henry to clean out the dirt in the bagless unit. Um, and I always sort of like to use a Henry because they have large bags and I keep all the bags of filth together but this is for new new dirt this is like and you'll excuse the word but it is a correct term and we are near the near the the day where jesus was born to a virgin virgin mary this is what i would call virgin dirt it's not been inside a vacuum cleaner yet so this is just a few things i've i've used in demos um i've only got this in here because i it's gone out of date and um it's just coffee it's quite uh, quite brown so that's quite useful to represent a, a fine powdery dirt and then of course the loose leaf tea that's useful because it shows up it's very dark in color and it shows up well on this light color carpet and it's normally the loose leaf tea that you can always see that's left after demos it's the thing that i can see the easiest once i've been over a couple of times with whatever vacuum i'm testing then this is just, this was to make, I don't really use this for normal demos. This is some um, red color glitter. I've used this with a stencil. Um, I must get that stencil actually, it's not in here. Um, if I want to write a word on the carpet, I'd use this sort of stuff to make the word or words. Uh, this is in fact gravy browning. And this is what they use often on TV demos on home shopping channels when you see them demonstrating carpet washers and they have really filthy looking carpets that that look brown and when they go over them with a carpet washer they turn out to be cream well they use gravy browning um, so this is all this is um, gravy browning that comes in a little bottle and you can mix it with water and i've put it in this spray bottle and you can spray it onto the carpet or onto a rug to simulate dirt sometimes i do real demos um, that just show you how dirty a carpet is. A clean looking carpet can actually harbour a lot of dirt. But some of you like to see a dramatic demo, which is why I do have to dirty up things from time to time. But it still demonstrates that the machine does work. So that's just gravy browning. Uh, of course the old lentils there, they represent larger particles. And again the rice that represents larger particles and it also can demonstrate the agitation of a vacuum cleaner. Then some coloured sand. I've got some more coloured sand and you'll, you'll have seen it already in the introductions to my advent videos. I bought six more packs of coloured sand which has got some glitter and things in to make it a bit more Christmassy. And this is neon sand. Um, I haven't used this to its full potential yet. What I might do is uh, weigh it out if I do a demo um, of a vacuum I could actually put a measured amount of this neon sand into the carpet and tread it in and then weigh how much it's actually picked up but you know I can never replicate um, scientific or lab demos I'm just in a normal home but it gives you a rough idea anyway so there's some neon green and neon uh, pinky colored sand there and that's used for craft projects so it's not really meant for what I'm using it for Oh, and there's just some flour, of course. 
And in this SIBO Duo P box, I think I've got rolled oats. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a waste. I know it's a waste of food, but I just buy the cheapest um, rolled oats. But in some cases, I use stuff that's you know gone out of date, like this um, not real coffee. It's uh, no calf coffee, but because that's gone out of date. Rather than just throwing it away, I thought, well, I'll keep that because I can throw that on my carpet instead of just putting it in the bin. So it'll have some use at least. So that's um, my little box of virgin dirt. So I think since you've seen the virgin dirt, I'm going to use virgin dirt in this demonstration. So I'll, I'll spread a bit of this on the carpet. I'm going to put a bit of everything apart from, of course, because I'm not demonstrating a carpet washer, I won't spray any of the gravy browning on the carpet. Not for this demo, but for another one I probably will. So let's get some dirt down and see if the old Morphe Richards is as handy as it says it is. Well, here we go then, my attempt at modern art. So we've got the neon green sand, the rolled oats, the coffee powder, the pinky or coral colour sand, the rice, the loose leaf tea, the lentils, the burgundy glitter, and finally the flower. What's this going to look like when I pass the Morphe Richards head the, <laughs> the way through the middle of this? It's going to make a right old mess, isn't it? Well. Let's see how it does. Well, it hasn't done bad at all. It's not made half as much mess as I thought it would. It did manage in two passes to pick up mostly everything. It has snow ploughed, I'll show you that in a minute. And the most visible thing, if you'll be able to see, is here, the neon sand. There's still some of that left. After a couple more passes, it might remove the rest of that, or I might need an upright cleaner with some agitation to get the sand out and again some of the green neon sand is still there and a few bits of the loose leaf tea but everything else basically the rolled oats the powdered coffee the rice the lentils the burgundy colored sand which is more of a gritty sand than the uh, neon that's much finer than this and then the flour it's picked up the majority. There's a few other little bits, you know, there's a couple of bits of the uh, the rice there, but there is some snow ploughing, so I'll show you that. You can see here where it's snow ploughed some of the larger particles, so I can see rice, um, some of the rolled oats, the lentils, a few bits of loose leaf tea, and a few tiny grains of the coarser sand, the burgundy coloured sand, but there's no other dirt, there's no, none of the finer particles, it's managed to pick all that up.
Well, that's the end of today's Advent video. I hope you've enjoyed this fun little demo of the Morphe Richards Handy picking up some very neat lines of dirt. I enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget, stay tuned. Same time, same place tomorrow for another Advent video. And uh, I think I've got to sort out the problem I've got with my TV because it seems to have caught fire. So uh, I'll deal with that and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.